I received recently the new rondo strings for viola. And so I put them on my instrument. Um, I had been using Peter Infeld. I have been using Peter Infeld for the last six years or so since, since the first time I tried them. And the first thing I noticed was that, it was two things actually, the first two things I noticed. One, uh, the first thing is that the strings are not quite as potent. They are not as uh, powerful on my viola um, as the Peter Infeld strings. But they are more rounded. They, they have a sweeter sound. And I remember that I put them on during a week when we were recording um, a Brazilian guitar concerto um, for, for, with my orchestra. And I had a small solo to play. And uh, we had three concerts, we, uh, three concerts plus uh, a number of recording sessions to do. And in, in between a couple of those, I had the crazy idea to try the new strings <laughs> because I wanted to see how it goes. So we had already recorded the solo. And uh, then I decided to try the new strings. And I put the rondo strings on um, for the, the third concert. And I actually had a couple of people come to me and say, wow, your solo sounded really beautiful today. The, the, it was very sweet sounding. And I said, wow, that's, that's really interesting because I just changed my strings. I have, it's a brand new string. And um, so that was my first experience with rondo. They, they um, are absolutely, they have just a really, what I would say is a really sweet sound. They're very sweet sounding. They have a lot of quality to the sound. Um, the Peter Infeld strings compared to them are not as naturally sweet, but they are more powerful. So that was the difference between these two strings.